In order to get Noted Pro into your project, you have to locate it in the library, create a new project, which will be for Noted Pro, and then you'll have to migrate it. In this instance, you can create the project here, or you can do it directly from the store page. Once you create that project, go ahead and navigate to it, right-click the main folder for Noted Pro, select Migrate, make sure all your files are here, click OK, and then go to the content folder of the project you want to use this tool in. So here's mine, I just hit Select folder, and now it's gonna give us a message. Um, basically, it's telling me it already exists there because I've already done this, and I'm just gonna hit Yes All. For you, it should just say OK. And as you can see, content migration completed successfully. So let's make a note real quick. Go ahead and grab the Noted Pro BP, drag it into Level Editor, position it where you like, and then it'll auto-generate the base note right here. So in this instance, we have these three cylinders and they have the wrong textures on them. So for the icon, let's select texture because it's a texture issue. And then we'll say this is a high priority issue, although you could do base note as you saw, which is just, you know, uh, generalized note, low priority, high priority, or you can even do a fixed state. But once again, we'll leave it high priority for now. Then we can select a team member. Let's select Bob. Bob is our texture guy, material guy. He'll know what to do with these. And then we need some type of topic. And so let's just say texture issue. And then the body text. We'll say these textures are incorrect. Let's swap them out for the proper ones in the next refinement pass. Now, the last thing I'd want to point out is that you can basically make dynamic tethers to any actors in scene via a note. And that's how you keep things organized so you know what you want to affect. So right down here in the bottom, you can say point to actors. You can click this three times, select the eyedropper tool, and then start selecting actors in scene. And you can see right there, it starts to auto-generate these tethers to different actors in scene, which are very handy. You can even take those tethers and make basic logic trees. And if you look around, they will automatically move themselves into the proper position at any angle so they stay out of your way. Everything is cleanly and clearly organized. There are a few other features on here as well. Um, so I can do the size of the note. I can make that bigger, I can make it smaller. But for this instance, just let's leave it default. And then note visibility, you can set how, how you want it to show up in game versus in editor. And it has different combinations for that. So that covers the basic note. So now that we know how to make notes, let's figure out how to sort through them. So if you select any note, and you scroll down below the note settings, you're going to find sort and find notes and level. So in this instance, we have all icons selected, all people selected, and all notes selected. That's the default state. And it'll collect every single noted pro tool that is in this level. Um, so in this instance, there are 14 in all. But you know, you want to use this and you want to be specific with it so it's easy to, to see what you need to do or what other people are doing or what issues are happening. You know, so basically you kind of use this to hop around really quickly. So in this instance, I want to see everything that's related just to textures. And it's like, oh, this is the only one in scene. We can see it right in front of us. I can press the little magnifying glass right there and it'll bring me directly to it. So I know that, um, you know, it's like, that's it. That's where I need to go. That's my texture thing in the scene. Now, if there are more of those, they would just stack up so I could see them. Um, but let's go ahead and just see people. So it's like, all right, Bob, uh, let's see what Bob has on his plate here. So I see three different notes here. You can see their header and um, of each one, and then you can just click the magnifying glass top to them. So let's do that right now. So press this, bam, hops right to it, hops right back. You know, so any of those in scene, you can just kind of hop to. Um, it's really nice like that. So that brings us back to our main note right here. So it's like anything related to Bob, bam, right there. So I could do Bob, and then I could select some type of icon here, and then make it more specific. So it's like, I want to see Bob. I want to see what Bob's doing with um, textures. And then I want to only see the high priority ones. And once again, like that's just what we have in front of us here. So it's going to look directly at it. But that's how you narrow things down. So you can do it by icon, by team member, and by priority level. Or you could just leave them generic. So like all notes, all icons, or, or all people and um, just pick individual ones you want. So you just get to pick and choose whatever you need to hop to, whatever you need to do. It's really straightforward and it's super handy. 
So now that we've gone through all the basic stuff and how to make a note, how to put it together, how to use it, let's go over how to add a new team member. So it's really straightforward. You know, select the Node Pro folder, go to Node Profiles, and then there's a team member list and a team member search list. All you have to do is open these two up and add the team member in, um, in their proper place. So what do I mean by that? So if we look at team member list here, team member search list, all you have to do, it's really simple, press new, go to the other list, press new, and uh, go ahead and add in the new name. So let's say uh, Ted, Ted is going to be our new person. So add it, save it, add it, save it, and that's it. You've added a new team member. Um, so if you click on any note, um, you know, under the team members that it's for, you can just select Ted. Bam, look at that. Ted is our new team member. All right, that brings the demo to a close. And don't forget to check us out on the Unreal Marketplace.